the maximum length of the ip datagram is 65535 bytes but when it comes to the physical network the datagram will be encapsulated in the frame maximum length of data that can be encapsulated in the frame is called maximum transmission unit mtu for a fiber based networks like fddi the mtu is 4352 bytes the mtu value for the ethernet lan is 1500 bytes This smaller MTU size compared to the IP datagram is due to the restrictions imposed by the hardware and software used in the network. So to transfer the IP datagram to such a physical network, we have to divide the datagram into smaller parts or fragments. This process is called fragmentation. at the final destination all such fragments are reassembled to get the original datagram so to understand the fragmentation completely watch the video till the end the fields that are related to fragmentation and reassembly of an ip datagram are the identification flags and fragmentation offset the 16 bits identification fields identify a datagram originating from the source host the combination of the identifications and source ip address must uniquely define datagram as it leaves the source host when a datagram is fragmented the value in identification field is copied into all fragments in other words all fragments have the same identification number for example if we want to send the 4000 bytes like 0 to 3999 to the network and due to smaller mtu it divides the original datagram into smaller fragments with bytes 0 to 1399 1400 2799 and 2800 2399 here 12565 is identifications that will be copied in each fragment the next 3 bit field is a flag in the datagram the first bit is reserved the second bit is called the do not fragment bit if its value is 1 the machine must not fragment the datagram if its value is 0 the datagram can be fragmented if necessary the third bit is called the more fragment bit so for the first fragment this bit is set to 1 because there are more fragments available for the second fragment also this bit is set to 1 because after this fragment is available but at the third segment this bit is set to 0 since this is the end of all fragments from the original datagram the next 13 bit is for fragmentation offset which shows the relative positions of this fragment with respect to the whole datagram it is the offset of the data in the original datagram measured in units of 8 bytes here 4000 bytes are fragmented into 3 fragments the bytes in the original datagram are numbered 0 to 3999 the first fragment carries bytes 0 to 1399 
द ऑफसेट ऑफ दिस डेटाग्राम इज जीरो डिवाइड बाय एट इज इक्वल टू जीरो द सेकेंड फ्रेगमेंट कैरीज बाइट वन थाउजेंड फोर हंड्रेड टू टू थाउजेंड सेवन हंड्रेड नाइनटी नाइन the offset value of this fragment is 1400 divided by 8 is equal to 175 finally the third fragment carries byte 2800 to 3999 the offset value for this fragment is 2800 divided by 8 is equal to 350 now suppose the second fragment may pass through some other physical network with an even smaller mtu then this 1400 bytes may divide into two smaller fragments of say 800 and 600 with bytes 1400 to 2199 and 2200 to 2799 here you can note that there are the same identification numbers with has more bit set to 1 because this is not the last fragments of this identification number the offset of the first fragment is 1400 divided by 8 is equal to 175 while for the second segment it will be 2200 divided by 8 is equal to 275 it is possible that each fragment follows a different path and arrives out of order at the final destination host using the identification number and offset value the destination host can reassemble the original datagram so this is all about how the fragmentation works in ipv4 datagram i am sure you are now confident about it thanks and see you in the next video keep watching bye bye if you like this video press like and subscribe the channel and share the video and don't forget to press the bell icon for my new video notifications thanks for watching